Uh huh. <laughs> that was a well. That was a little peculiar. Looks like we lost this one. You know, cl close game. <laughs> I missed my cleaver in the SpongeBob Blue plane. Uh, I blew up. I got exploded. You blew up. Yeah, I, I blew up. Are you staring at a wall? Fist. No, if talking don't look, you know, use your fist. Sandwich at him and then punched him in the face. I'm so good! Chase him. You go, you're lucky. You got away with your life. You may not be so lucky. Oh, this isn't fair. He has many crits. I'm so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a true man. He only uses his fist. Weapons are for fucking babies. Hello. On a more serious note. TF2 is a very special game to me. I know I may be a bump. I know I may be a month late for hashtag save TF2. By the time this is uploaded, but I thought I might share my thoughts anyway. I've been playing t TF2 for on off for multiple years now, between two accounts. My beginnings as a free-to-play WM1 Pyro who only played on Minecraft community servers and a surf server for some reason. To me today, as scout and heavy man. That only plays on 240. I'm not any good at TF2. In fact, I'd say I suck pretty hard. But without TF2, I wouldn't be playing first-person shooters today. 
I used to get absolutely destroyed by my brother, but now I destroy him. I remember memories of getting my f ghastly gibbous and people in the were telling me that I was a rare hat. I remember scrapping my entire backpack to make some stupid looking chef's hat for a medic. I remember every s loving every second of King Fortress 2. Now, I'll talk about some items that I hold dear to me in my backpack. Space Hamster Hammy is my most expensive and personal item. My brother trading it, my brother traded for it, and I gave him, well, really I gave him my brother's trading card collection as we shared accounts at the time. I love Space Hamster, I love Space Hamster Hammy, and it's an item I would never get rid of. The Mom Lock Panic Attack is another item I love. I use it on every class, I can use it. Might as heavy sometimes. Even if it may not be the best option, it is a mint condition like our war paint. The samurai has a funny story attached to it. My brother, when he quit TF2, gave me all of his cosmetics, including a samurai. At the time, I never played demo, and being young me, I got rid of it somehow to get some other crappy looking hat. I don't remember how off the top of my head. Afterwards, I immediately regretted it, as my brother told me to never trade the items he gave me. I eventually traded for a new one that became older and wiser. And if you're watching this, my brother, I'm sorry, I guess. The Queen of Conscience has a more simple story attached to it. I was on scrap.tf looking at a prior hats. I put my mouse over it, my cat was on my desk, clicked the mouse, and I kept it just to make him happy. <sighs> These are really the only items that mean anything to me. That I still have. Yep, someday TF2 will improve for the better. Be it a new update, or just fixing the bot problem. 